Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you very much for attending today's uh, signing ceremony. Uh, we will proceed with uh, brief introductions because obviously this is uh, a smaller seminar style uh, event where, as I mentioned, uh, we will proceed to introduce each and every person around the table um, to the knowledge of uh, the managing director of Tazara and uh, the group chairperson of Bravo Group. And after the signing ceremony, uh, we will proceed to have uh, some breakfast and uh, do some networking and uh, have a chat and, and the necessary introductions can be a little bit more elaborate. So first of all, uh, I would like to go around uh, the table. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, members of management of companies, members and directors of the logistics sector, members of the press, honorable guests. Uh, I would like to welcome you again to this signing ceremony. Around the table, we have different individuals which are part of the logistics sector. Uh, for Bravo Group, on our distinguished guests, uh, we would like to thank you for your support. Uh, some of you which are, most of you which are around the table, actually have supported our journey uh, and or are currently supporting us as Bravo Group. So I'd like to thank uh, the distinguished guests, Salu Johnson, Secretary General, Tanzania Shipper Council. I'd just like you to raise your hand, just or stand up if you wish. Mr. El John Dube, Director of Epic Cargo. Uh, Mr. Godfrey Dalawa, Director of Stonet. Mrs. Helen Kiwia, Ato Logistics Director. Octavio Mshiwi, Board Member TPSF. Rahim Dosa, Vice Chair, Trucks Owners Association. Mr. Fadi Badli, MD of Mora Moara Logistics. Mr. Asgar Sagar, General Manager of C. Steinweg Bridge. Mr. Chad Botta, Managing Director of C. Steinweg Bridge, Tanzania. Mrs. Nina Karani, General Manager, C. Steinweg Bridge, Bulk Commodities. Mr. Peter Shin S Sishinga, sorry, marketing manager. Sorry, uh, apologies. Tazara will be introduced by engineer uh, Bruno Chungandu, the managing director. Mrs. Ngombili Nguenya, managing director of alternative consultants. Mr. Kerala Skaiki, operations manager of Kefa Cargo Solutions. Mr. Melek Shange, Chair of the ICD Owners and General Manager of JFAG. Mr. Joseph Salema, Managing Director, Vision Control and Superintendent. I think I've covered a few people. Unfortunately, I haven't covered Madame. Um, sorry. Mrs. Dr. Judith Mohina. who joins us here uh, to also support Bravo Group in this, uh, in this signing event. Thank you. Also like to introduce uh, some of the members of the team, notably Shilinda Ngalula, who is a director of Bravo Group and also our legal counsel. Further to this, I'd like to pass the mic. And also Madam Susie Liza, Apologies for that, madam. And I'd like to pass the mic to engineer Bruno Chingandu to actually introduce his team. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and uh, let me welcome all of you to Tazara on this very, very, very exciting, um, uh, exciting day and journey. My name is Bruno Chingandu. I'm the managing director of Tazara. I have with me um, my team. First of all, to my, to my immediate uh, right is Mr. Mabala, who is the Corporation Secretary, Mr. Schinga, who is the Marketing Manager, Mr. Chomba Chomba, who is the man in charge of uh, infrastructure, Mr. Maseli, who is in charge of the traffic, and Mr. Diam, Luanga, who is the chief mechanical engineer. I think that's all the team that I have with me here. Thank you. Uh, 
Engineer, thank you very much. I would like um, to also indicate we'll go through his quick speech and then we'll have a member of the TPSF, uh, Mr. Mishiri, who will come and do a short speech after that once we've concluded with Engineer Chingandu. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly three years ago, we received an invitation tender to enter and bid for the open access rail agreement that Tazara had decided to provide to private rail operators, partners and operators at large. As group CEO of the company, some of you may not know me or some do, Alex Dufar is my name. We responded to this interest and envisioned how rail can actually benefit the port of Dar es Salaam and our future terminals. This was roughly three, four years ago. Through improving movement of cargo, to make it become faster, more efficient, and deliver significantly less congestion in cities such as Dar es Salaam and what we see today, impacted in part by the trucking industry. Since 2005 as a company, we've really been focused on typical truck transport logistics. Meanwhile, we have developed three terminals in Dar es Salaam, similar to the one that we established again with Tazara, Bravo Tazara Terminal. But to deliver our vision of being preferred service provider and the customers of choice would choose Bravo Group alongside with our strategic partners, we needed to enter rail. We needed to have facilities and terminals and warehouses which would be able to allow cargo to be offloaded by rail and also to see the usage of rail becoming more and more predominant as an alternative transport for cargo corridors through Dar, Dar, especially the fact that the cargo continues to grow. And customers are fleeting to this corridor who need better competitivity. Today we see with huge potential Tazara railway line, and we have carefully viewed the progress made in the past three years since the bid. Tazara railway line has evolved and also has our interest as we viewed how things progressed with their intent to open to private operators. Through the process of this bid, it has brought us here to this signing ceremony. This signing ceremony highlights the signing of our open access agreement with Tazara, allowing us to operate our own and partner rail rolling stock. As Bravo Group, we now can capitalize on assets that we have, not only terminals, but close to over a million tons per annum worth of cargo, which passes through our terminals, which can start to be considered for rail by improving the costs for our clients, the efficiency and the speed of transport, and to complement other modes of trans transport already available in the country. This obviously enhances why clients international and regional should choose Dar es Salaam over other ports because of the rail connectivity that is offered by Tazara Railway. And this special relationship is one of those reasons why we should focus on rail, especially between the signing between Bravo and Tazara. I'd like to thank all the team of Tazara for their professionalism their commitment to Bravo Group, and foremost, their patience, which sees us enter the railway transport space. We expect soon to be realizing two railway services per month from Zambia to Dar in return, which will substantially benefit the interest of Tanzania and Zambia. Our contribution will make the corridor and the Dar es Salaam port much more competitive. We would like to also thank, amongst our distinguished guests, who is who is currently not available due to her time, but especially Her Excellency Samaya Suluhu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, for her commendable effort with her government to ensure that the transport and logistics sector become strategic sectors of hard currency earnings for the country. We'd also like to thank the government of Zambia for the strong support to allow unique transport corridors like Tazara to regenerate and improve to become an African reference in railway to which private sector companies like us, Bravo Group, and all our strategic partners 
would like to participate in with Zambia by our side. On behalf of Bravo Group, as the group CEO, I'd like to thank you all those that have given us this support and would like to extend special thanks to our distinguished guests from the sector. Thank you.